One of the reasons we study naked morats is they not only live an extraordinary long length of time, an animal this size should live no more than four to six years, and yet our oldest individuals live 32 years, eight times longer than a similar sized mouse. Not only do they live an inordinate length of time, but they also do so in really good health. They don't get cancer, they don't get neurodegenerative disease, and they don't seem to get heart disease. So we're trying to find out the global mechanisms that might be able these animals to beat the odds and stay in good health for as long as we would like to. Research before I joined the lab looked at other um, parts of, of what would be like the aging kind of syndrome, you know, when your, your skin gets older, your bones get brittle, common signs of aging. And a lot of these signs of aging, the naked moret really doesn't undergo at all um, until about 24 years of age. So what we did was um, a lot of those exercise tests, we also took a look at the, the vascular function and uh, found that the naked moret, again, really doesn't show any signs of aging up till age 24 or so. Um, so that's a human getting to 90, 92, and not getting any heart disease whatsoever. Working on an unusual species has forced us to not be very focused on one disease per se. So we're looking at cancer, we're looking at neurodegeneration, and we're looking at cardiac disease. And we really do believe that all three of them share a common mechanism. Um, and I think as we delve from the disease states into the healthy aging and the mechanisms that might be protecting all of the diseases, I think we've got many, many more years of work ahead of us to try and get to the bottom of the story. But I think it's a very fascinating approach and I think there's a lot to be learned.